Hi guys and welcome to another Divi WordPress theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well in our last video we did this little icon list here, really easy. Today we're going to sort of do something similar, we're going to create a sort of circular menu using the same Divi Supremes plugin. Divi Supremes plugin comes in two flavors, a free and a premium version. You can download both from my affiliate link below this video. And our little circular menu that we created here, I've got one that goes up to the top, just a sort of home button. Obviously you can link to whatever you want. I've got external pages. I really haven't got a lot to link to on this site. I can scroll to different sections. I haven't got an email form on this site, so I'm just linking to one on a different site here. But like I say, you can take yours wherever you want them to go. And I'll show you exactly how to do this. And of course, you can link to other pages on the site. Very easy to do. So let's get this done. Let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is enable the visual builder so we can work on the front end. When the builder's loaded, let's go down to where we want to work, which will be right here. So I'll just trash the one that we've got here. There we go. And let's start again. Now I'm going to hit the little dark button here to add a new module. Okay, so now we've got it open, we will need to start adding some items. So let's click on add new item. Go to the content tab. I don't want any text. I just want the icon. If you prefer to make your own images, you can click this button and just do it with your own images. That's fine. Let's see if we can find a home icon. I know there's one here with the great elegance themes icons that they have here. There we go. As you can see, it's popped one in there. There's a little home icon and some text, but I don't want the text there. Well, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the design tab so we can style our icon. I'm going to hit the icon. I'm going to make the icon a lot bigger. The icon color's fine at being white. It disappears into the background there, and I'll give it a blue background so you can see it again. Now let's make it a bit bigger and give it a bit of padding around the outside. And we'll do what we did with the uh, other ones and make it round. And do that simply. Make sure that's checked. It'll do all four for you at once. And write 50%. And as you can see, it's made that icon round. And that's great. That's just what I want but I don't want that text in there. Now we can't get rid of that text, but what I can do is make it transparent so you can't see it. So let's go down to text. Here's the text. Here's the text color. I'm gonna click on it. I'm gonna pull the right hand slider all the way down. That's for opacity or see-throughness. And right at the bottom, it's gonna be transparent so you can't see it. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna duplicate this say six times or five times so there's six of them so I'm gonna hit the check mark there's our first one hit the two little boxes left click second one third fourth fifth sixth there we go so we've got six little icons there but it doesn't look very interesting they're just sort of on top of each other now let's go about actually turning them into a circular menu now to do this, I'm going to need a bit of help because, you know, doing a circle by eye, you can get it kind of. But let's put something in the background so we can actually see what's going on there. So let's go back to our content tab. We're in the main module here, background. I'm going to add a background color, yellow. And doesn't that look lovely? And what I want to do is I want to make this the same width as it is high. So let's 
give it a, a fixed height and width. So I'm going to go to the design tab, going to go to sizing. I'm going to give it a width of say 330. You do what works for you. Don't have to put picks in, it'll put it in there for you. And I want to give it similar height so it's a perfect square. There we go. And it doesn't matter if those spill out a little bit, that's not a problem at all. And next I want to make it into a perfect circle. And as with everything else, we can do that by going down to border. We're on the design tab. I'm going to close up sizing. I'm going to go down to border. Make sure that's checked again. And I'm going to put in 50% just like we did with the icon. There we go. Now I can start moving my icons around to where they're in a sort of circle and then I can get rid of that background afterwards. So let's go back to our content tab and start moving our first icon. Here's our first one and we need to go to design and right at the bottom you're going to see transform. Second tab is translate which basically means move and what we can do we can grab this and put it where we are and you're going to see that first icon as I move this it'll start moving you see moving across there move it wherever you want so I'm going to plop that one about up the top there when I'm happy save it and I'm going to continue working my way around. I'll pause the video. There's no point you watching me do this. What I would say is use the bottom ones for the bottom. So here, here and here and the top ones for the top here, here and here. I mean you can have more than six or less however you want to do it. That's entirely up to you. I guess I'll do one more. Let's do the bottom one. So I'm happy with that top one. Let's do the bottom one. Design at the bottom. Transform second tab translate now let's move this one across there we are you can see it moving there move it up just a little bit so it's kind of in line with the other one there we go and I'll pause the video now and I'll do the rest exactly the same way I'm just going to move them across to where I want them so they're in a circle okay we've got six of them there now it's not perfect but it's better than it would have been if I'd have tried to do it by eye <laughs> so let's go back to our main content we're right here go down the background and we can take that background away now simply hit the little trash can there and there we've got our structure for our little circular menu now of course we want to change the icon on each one and have it link to something so this top one if we go back to the content up here I'm going to go into that first one. Home icon's fine, and I want it to link to the top of the page, basically the home. Or if you're on a different page, you can link it to the, the index.html or the index, the home page, the URL. But this is a sort of one page thing, so I'll just have it go back up to the top. And to do that, you can just put in a, a hashtag. Now, when they click on it, that's instantly going to take it up to the top. It's not going to scroll. I'll just demonstrate that. So let's save what we got here and save again. Save the page changes and exit our visual builder. Let's go down to where we are. And what I wanted to do now when I click on this, it'll just shoot to the top. It'll just instantly be at the top. There we are. I'd rather actually, because it's further down on the page, have a scrolling effect going on. So it sort of scrolls back up to where the top. And to do that, we can use CSS IDs. And what I've done, I guess I'll demonstrate. Let's enable our Visual Builder again. I've given this top section a CSS ID. If we look in here, go over to Advanced, CSS IDs and Classes. Now we want IDs. We don't want custom CSS. I've given this one the name of top top an ID you can call it what you want let's call it Bob call it whatever you want it doesn't matter as long as it's unique there's no other Bob's on the page and save that this second section I think I'd give in the ID of middle if we go on blue tag is for the section green tags for a row dark tags for a module advanced CSID not custom CSS I think yeah I've called this one middle and 
think I've called this one bottom right here section advanced CSS ID yeah bottom that's fine alright so let's now change that link with our little menu and we'll link this to top or we renamed it Bob didn't we CSS ID so let's go back in there so our first one and the link instead of a hashtag now to link to a section or CSS ID you've got to have a hashtag first so it's always going to be hashtag then the name of the section you want to scroll to which was Bob for no apparent reason now save that now if I just save everything again and show you skip ahead if you know what's going to happen exit the visual builder go down to our little menu now when I click on that home button it'll scroll up to the top there we go that's more of the effect that I was looking for now we just need to go around and add our links to these you can do external links I guess I'll do one more and I think I'll put a hover effect on there and add a little bit of box shadow just like we've done on this so I'll do the first or the second one I guess let's go enable our visual builder again go down okay hit the little cog to edit our thing here the first one let's give it a quick hover effect and to do that I'm going to go to design I'm going to go to the icon and the background color I want it to when I hover over it let's change it to green like we did on the other one so just put your mouse over where it says icon background color scroll over to the little arrow two little buttons will appear desktop which is regular non hover state and hover which is obviously hover when your mouse is on it I'm going to turn that to green I'll put that back to desktop now I just want to give it a bit of box shadow so let's go on down box shadow and just pop a bit of that in there whoops that's not what I want obviously I want to put box shadow on the icon not the actual module itself so let's go back into icon scroll down and you'll see a box shadow for the icon there we go that's a little bit more like it okay so that's got that hover effect on there so let's move on to our next one. I'll just do one more. Back in the main module. Let's do the bottom one and turn that into an email. I've got no email form on here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to link it to an external contact form on a different site. So let's go in here. Now I'm going to change the icon for this one also let's find a little envelope envelope to signify email or whatever it is you want to do there's there it is right there okay and we want to put our link in here now because it's an external site I want it to open in a new tab let's do that in a new tab and of course let's put in our box shadow for our icon and hover color so there's our regular color hover color fantastic and a little bit of box shadow there we go okay well I'm going to continue on and I'm going to do the rest of these no point you watching me do them I'll pause the video exactly the same I'm going to link some to sections on the page and some to externals okay well I've changed it now I've changed our icons and everything um, let's just quickly save the page changes and exit the visual builder go down and here's our little circular menu and like I say this email it opens in a new tab to an email contact form see our original tab still open because it's an external site and I'm linking to other pages on the site and different sections well, that's another site external one different sections on the site so there you have it that's a nice little feature you can put it anywhere on your site and it it's really easy with that Divi Supreme modules plugin the icon thing it's a really useful little module right there 
Like I say, you can download either the free or the pro version from my affiliate link below this video. I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, share, comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.